All right, students, this uh, short video will be about arithmetic sequences and um, how to find an equation for those sequences. So first thing to talk about is what the heck is an arithmetic sequence? Well, a sequence is just a list of numbers. The fact that it's arithmetic, that sort of refers to the type of uh, operation going on. So arithmetic is what we start with, and what it is is we look for, well, how's it changing? Okay, so for this one, from 10 to 13, it has a change of 3. 13 to 16, change of 3. And then plus 3, plus 3, all the way down. Okay, so this is what we call a common difference. In this case, we'd say d equals 3. All right. The challenge is to figure out what comes way later. Okay, we know what comes right after 25 because we just had 3. But what if we want to know what comes 14 steps down the road, or what's the 50th term in this sequence? So that's what we're going to try and do now. So first things first, uh, let's label this a couple things. This is the first term, so we'll call that a1. Second term we'll call a2, then a3, a4, a5, a6. And the one down here that we don't know is a n. And n could be the 100th term, the 50th term, the 29th term. OK? The thing is, on a quiz, it'd probably be like the 100th. And you don't want to have to continue this thing for 94 more steps. That's not the best use of your time. What we want to do is find an equation for that. So how do, here's how I could do it. I talk myself through it. Say, OK, how do we get to the nth term? Well, we start with 10. And then what did we do? We added 3. But you do that more than once. You do it over and over and over and over again. Okay. Now here's the key. When you get to step n, you haven't actually taken n steps. Because you're starting on the first step, to get to n, you actually take one less step. Here's what I mean. By the time you get to the sixth term, you added 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Because you started with the first term, and you added it 5 more 3s. So you're going to add 3, not that number of times, but n minus 1. Okay, so let me say that again. To get to step 6, you only have to take 5 steps. You don't take 6 steps because you're starting with number 1. You're already standing on number 1. It only takes 5 steps, or n minus 1 steps, to get to where you want. So how this works is, as you talk your way through it, it's the start, or the starting value, and then what did you do? That's your common difference. Yeah. All right. And the key thing here is you did it n minus 1 times. And it's 1 less because we don't count step 1. OK. Um, and that's, that's going to be always for this chapter. So, again, the whole thing is because we started with number one, we don't count step one. We take that off. Okay, so the next thing then is let's say we wanted the 50th term. And it could be anything. The quiz will maybe ask for 50th, the 35th, the 70th, whatever it is. We take this and into our formula here, we plug in 50. Oops. That should be a minus one. Ignore that little jump there. So 50 minus one. So that's going to be 10 plus 3 times 49. And again, that's 49 steps. 50 is 49 steps after number 1. So it's 10 plus 147 or 157. Okay. Whoops. There it is. Now you could use this formula to find the 50th term, the 10th term, the 90th term, any term you want. And the whole idea is you don't have to continue the list forever. All right, so that's arithmetic sequences. Tomorrow we'll talk about how do you add up this whole list going on to the 100th term or to the 50th term or whichever term. All right, thanks for watching. Bring questions to class tomorrow.